Thanks for the raid! Hello, it's me, Ariza Gaming. Hello, back guy. Took me long enough. Yes, it, yes, it did. We are having dinner. Are we doing well, Leofar? We are doing Subnautica tonight. Hello, Fraud Napster. Hope you're doing well. Hello, Punk W444. Yes, the IRL fish guy is going to be playing some alien fish tonight. Uh, the goal of this playthrough is to get all of the fish all of the alien fish in alien containments and make a big base somewhere but we're only just this is the second stream we've done on this playthrough so we've got a little bit of a ways to go uh today my goal is probably to go to the aurora and sort that all out get the laser cutter get some more equipment going and then start to think about where we're actually going to go put our base i guess hope you're doing well back guy i was very interested in your tree uh, arbitrary generating stuff in oxygen not included. I like that we've both taken similar but different approaches to solving that issue. Uh, my approach, I think, gives branches as well, but I can't remember. Anyways, you're, you're gonna go to sleep. <laughs> Good night, Fraud Napster. We're gonna see XD Got Creepers show up. Is he gonna say that he's going to sleep as well? Anyways, let's continue.
So uh, this is the previous run. Um, I'm going to show you this anyways, because I'm not sure you guys have seen this in this game, but it's kind of funny. <laughs> uh, but our previous run that we did, and I've since unlisted from YouTube, uh, we had to cut it short because there was a glitch and all of the water actually disappeared, which was kind of nuts. So, uh, yeah, hold on. Yeah, let's let this load and you'll see what I mean. Uh, yeah, see, this is not normal. We are, we are currently walking around next to our prawn suit, but you'll see there's no water. We're jumping up and down. This is very normal. <laughs> there is a reaper down there floating around. All the fish are still behaving as if there's water, but there is no water. Um, I did find a way to fix this. But yeah, you can see there's we, there's not actually any water, so we can't hover. We're just falling at the moment. And then we can... Uh, then we'll just get massacred by a reaper. So yeah, uh, this is a glitch that can happen. What you need to do to resolve it is to die or get unstuck. So uh, I just thought I'd show you guys this because it was a funny bug and it kind of ended the previous run. But that was a while ago. So pressing the unstuck button, I believe, solves the issue. So let's quit, go back to the main menu. We'll continue our current run, which is much more sensible. Hello, Wojo. I hope you're doing well. <laughs> just thought I'd show you the uh, interesting little quirk of the game. This, they, there's definitely still some bugs in this game. So, this is our current run. Uh, we are one stream in. This is our very small and unassuming base. This column is uh, relying on the power of belief alone to hold up the scanner room. But we do have the we do have the seam off. Uh, do I have a flashlight? Let's see. I do. There we go. See, we have a seam off. So we've got a vehicle. Uh, we've got a little base down here with a solar panel. I'm good. I think my sleep was better last Welcome night. Aboard, I had the same amount of hours, but just I think the sleep quality was better. Yeah, we found a nice poster in a wreck somewhere before we died. We actually went back with another spare O2 tank and we we didn't find any stuff. So I don't think we actually lost any stuff when we died. So that's good. Um, I don't know why we filled this storage with camera drones. We realized we can infinitely store... Um, we can infinitely generate camera drones by having the stalkers steal them and then deconstructing and rebuilding the scanner rooms. So <laughs> you can infinitely acquire these if you want. But I think before we actually go to... Before we actually go to the Aurora, I want to get... I want to get some diamonds. So we'll go up here and we'll set the scanner room to diamonds. You think about sleep, fair enough. Okay, so there's no diamonds anywhere near us. That's obviously not good. Uh, fragments is probably a good idea. We also need the camera chip. Whatever. Let's just start looking around. It is night time. So finding some general resources would be good. There is the rendezvous point over there. I don't think I want to look at that yet. We'll just go exploring the Seamoth for a bit. Oh, look, we can see it. Why can I see it now? Do we not need the camera chip in this game? Do we just have it automatically? We do. Scanner room HUD trip. You, you get it automatically. Okay. Maybe you get it automatically in another game as well. That's fine. So I think we'll just go around and hunt for fragments at the moment because I want to make sure that we have access to all the things. Scanner room will definitely help. We need unpowered. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll accept that. We need to find a battery charger, to be honest. There you go. We already have the sea glide. Um, I don't mind grabbing some more titanium as well. Do we have a storage in the Seamoth? I feel like we should. There's upgrades. Is there a storage bit? Maybe we need to add that with the upgrades. That would make sense, wouldn't it? Okay. Keep zooming around for now. Find more fragments. Wait until uh, daytime. Uh, if we could find some stalker teeth, that would be helpful as well. I should I should put the scanner room on that at some point. We may have to go a little bit further afield. To actually get some... Oh, I can hear 
I can hear teeth. We already have this one. It's still pretty good titanium. It was need more titanium. And yes, I can hear you. If we see any teeth on the floor, we'll have a look. Oh, we're currently just demolishing all of the fish. Yep, that makes sense. Scanner room does not seem to be scanning anything. I think it's out of power. Okay. We can start making our way over here, I guess. I would like to find some diamonds. Uh, we need some water as well. We don't have any water. I guess we need to find some bladder fish. You can go back to the pod for that. Yes, let's stock up on water. Here we go. I'll get run over by the gas pods. Look at the fish. It's a bladder fish over here. So we found a time capsule that has a deep shroom in it, which is a kind of mushroom that you use to make hydrochloric acid, I think. And you're supposed to find it later in the game, but we have it now. So we should probably try and leverage that somehow. Any more dudes? You're not a bladder fish, you're a Reginald. Are you a Reginald? No, you're a peeper. Okay. Still good eating. Uh, we still also need to research the beacon. That is actually something we need to do. So that we can actually find our base. Killer fish. Killer Hello, Kuji. Why is my icon off I center? I am, Hold on. But I taste really good. That's I not good. Fish. Hello. I'll be your Hold killer on, fish for the evening. Center to Thank screen. You. Okay, I did it after it disappeared. Great. Okay. Well, at least we fixed that now. Hope you're doing well, Kuji. We're doing some some Nautica today. Fish stream. Right. Let's get some water. I like the water filtration machines. You use them to get salt as well. <laughs> I, I find the killer fish from San Diego thing so funny. I don't know why. Uh, hello? Yes, I would like some more water, please. Oh, you're out of power. Oh, I see. Okay. I'll allow that. It's not a lot of water. Uh, we can cook. Doom peeper. I want to spend all day making food. Yeah, now I can eat one more peeper and stock up on the... Stock up on the hunger, because as long as you're below 100, your next meal will fill up your hunger bar, and then it will... And then it will last longer. So we've got to go from 98 to 130. The water only ever goes up to 100, but it drains slower. Um, let's store some... Right. I'm just going to... Can I just straight up remove these? I don't think I can. Maybe just chuck them out and let the stalkers have them. I think that's literally what we're going to do. There you go. We don't need them. They were coming and ripping them from the scanner room anyways, so... We'll just leave them out here. They take up too much space. And they don't cost any resources, so I don't really care. <laughs> Right, so let's store the stuff we definitely don't want to lose. Um, Deep Shroom is already in here, that's good. Uh, I guess we could fill this with these things for now. I guess we'll take the titanium with us. Got silver. That's fine, we got some lithium as well. Probably don't care about the flares. I don't care about that. Uh, advanced wiring kit. Um, yeah, here we go. Okay. Oh, we've got an Aurora miniature. We found that as well. Okay, so let's put that somewhere. I don't know where we're going to put that for now. I think we're just going to put that in the corner. There we go. <laughs> What's your display name? Your display name is Fraud Napster. And it's... What is my what is my Twitch actually doing? Oh, it's just showing a new button. Okay, that's fine. Nothing suspicious about that. So it looks like the stalkers have nicked the K 
cameras like we expected. Apparently, once they nick the cameras and they drop them, they drop a tooth as well, but I haven't seen one yet. Oh, hello. Yes, 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 you're very angry. Stop being angry. You need your teeth at some point. Okay, maybe we just do this now. Maybe we just set the scanner room to teeth. And then we don't have to worry about it. Because we need it for enamel glass, which we'll need later. So, stalker tooth. And we have the HUD chip. We just zoom around and look for teeth. Probably in the Seamoth. Because it's a bit safer. Show me the teeth. See, he did drop one. It was right by the camera, but we couldn't see it. So in below zero, there's something... Oh, we should scan the next one. In below zero, there's something called um, a HUD overlay. Or a HUD outline thing for these teeth. Uh, well, just for objects in general that you can interact with. I really like that because <laughs> I'm not very good at spotting them. There we go. This is probably more than we actually need. Hello. Yes, yes, yes. You're not actually going to do that much damage, so I don't really care if you if you want to wander around. Okay, good stuff. So let's go back to the base. There were a lot around here. We just couldn't see them. So let's let's take some quartz. We do have quartz. Let's make some glass, and then I believe we can make enamel glass as well. And we'll make a load of this. And we'll use it for something. This is uh this is not a speed run, by the way. We are just hanging out at the moment. I make another titanium ingot if I want to. Probably not at the moment. I want to make more base stuff. I don't need to make another O2 tank. So I think we're still kind of looking for fragments. And I think we want the laser scanner so we can actually get the... Uh, we want a diamond so we can build the laser tool. Welcome aboard, Captain. So let's go look for the laser tool. I think what I'm going to do for now is I'm just going to orientate myself with the life pod. We're just going to go the other way. Actually, that's a really... Hold on, right. So we've got a compass now. What direction is that? It's sort of... Let's just go west. There was this cave system over here that we already looked at. We'll see if we can find a diamond. Or some kind of ore that's going to lead to a diamond. I feel like I've forgotten most of what I know about these games. I tend to do that. I like gold. Gold is good. So there's the wreck. Let's keep looking. So let's orientate ourselves relative to that was the wreck we got trapped in and died in. Oh, there's a re there's a reef back. Let's have a look at the reef back as well. See if we've got any handy uh, barnacles. Do you like the barnacles? I'm not seeing any on this one. Hello, okay, Mike. Hope you're doing well. We're doing some some Nutica today. Oh, hello. Right. Uh, let's see. So, where is the Aurora? The Aurora is that way, which is back towards the base. So we're currently going the opposite direction from the Aurora, which is good because I want to find some different stuff before we head over there. I believe. I believe we have the laser cutter fragment. Let's keep looking for fragments, though. There's a box here. There we go. That was pretty convenient. Let me scan you. Oh, we already have the laser cutter. Okay. So, we have the we have the blueprint. We just need to find the diamond. I will keep just looking for more boxes, though. Okay, hello. 
did a two and a half hour exam today. Yes, you were talking about your exam, I think. Hope, uh, hope that was a somewhat pleasant experience. What is this? Part of, oh, a scanner room fragment. Yeah, we already have that one. Okay. Hey, stop eating the sea moth. You ain't doing too much damage to the sea moth, matey. So I think we're going to have to find some kind of deeper rock face to find diamonds. This certainly looks deeper. We can hear a reaper. Okay. Lead we probably didn't need. Stop bashing into me, Mr. Sunshark. Inventory full. Okay. <laughs> okay, maybe we collected too much titanium. Uh, I guess we'll make an ingot and go back. Maybe we just have a quick look down here. See if there's any evidence of... Okay, I can see a warper. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. But this. Thermal plant fragment? Okay, we already had that. Yeah, just go back. Scary noises. Now I think about it, I think there were actually diamonds on the wall next to the Aurora. Let's just do that. We'll make a titanium ingot and then we'll dump some more stuff and then we'll go do that. I'm very glad that we have the Seamoth though. Here you can see some floaters we found earlier. And some carnivorous fish that are eating the little ones. I'm also pretty much out of Pepsi, which is fine because I've got some swash. Try not to run over the fish. Oh, we'll run. We'll run you over. Yeah, there you go. You're a you're a mean fish. So these things actually act as beacons, except obviously the stalkers pick them up and move them around, so that's not actually super helpful. Yes, I can see you're currently doing that now. Um, I don't actually care about them, so let's actually just turn their beacons off. Welcome aboard, Captain. Right, one titanium ingot, please. We'll need you for later. Uh, more water. We have lots of stuff now. I could take some of the copper and make some wire. Probably be a good idea. We always need copper wire. Probably some more batteries as well. We can go get some acid mushrooms quickly and make some more batteries. Oh, we need to make a battery charger. Right, let's see. We have a power cell charger. We do have a battery charger. Okay, so now we just need the wiring kit for that. Uh, we have an advanced wiring kit. Okay. I think we can make a regular wiring kit. Yes. We do actually have some resources. Let's use them. So battery charger. This can go here. Right. Uh... Do we have any empty batteries? Yes. Who know? Uh, I think we have an empty battery in here. No, we probably used it to make the power cell for the Seamoth. That's fine. Right, let's go get some more acid mushrooms, make some more batteries. I believe there's some nearby, so we'll just grab them. Yes, I'm not too uh, perturbed at the lack of acid mushrooms. But yeah, this is a very temporary base. We're going to make a better one. <laughs> I'm still peeved that the column doesn't connect. It really winds me up. Right, let's just... Yeah. 
What does the scanner say about us? Yeah, we're normal. <laughs> we're in, we're neurotypical. Uh, right. Let's see. Copper. Oh, we just, oh, we just used all the copper to make friggin' wire, didn't we? Well, I'm sure we will use that for something. Store these. Store these. We'll need a fire extinguisher with us. I don't think we'll need both of them. Put that away, put that away. Put that away. I probably need to make another storage already. So what else do we want? Modification station? That needs a diamond. Power cell charger is not really relevant yet. We did actually find a ruby. Medical kit fabricator. That sounds useful. Um, I could make another titanium locker. You know what? Let's make a let's make a little wall locker, and we'll just call it titanium. And this is where we'll put anything to do with titanium, because we're always going to need it for building stuff. And then we don't need to feel conflicted about that. You've been playing Dyson Sphere Program for nine hours today? Man, I wish I had that much time to play video games these days. <laughs> that is my one regret, other than the fact that I have bonitis. Okay. Uh, it is currently night time. I think we just go grab some more rocks. Keep it simple for now. Go grab some rocks, find some copper. We will use all that wire later so that wasn't a waste. Uh, quartz. You'll have to see it. Found an egg. It's a suspicious looking egg if I've ever seen one. You know what? We're often running out of quartz. I'm alright with this outcome. I'll have a fish. And an egg. Hello. Oh, hello. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> I probably could have scanned you. Except it's night time and I don't really feel like doing that. I guess we'll grab the sulfur. Thank you. I like these guys. The little scavenger guys. They're my favorites. They're, they're like... <laughs> they're just vibing. They're just vibing. Ooh, this looks like a productive cave. Or salvage, I'll take that. Yay, quartz. It's not exactly what I was looking for, but we'll take it. Mm -mm, must be getting close to capacity. Okay. okay. Mr. Cavefish, we're going to crash fish. We're going to scan you. There we go, we did it. <laughs> we scanned it. What does it say? This unusual... Oh, hold on. Let's, let's not suffocate. Uh, it would help if we didn't do that in a cave. There we go. Very safe in the middle of the dark ocean. All right, let's read our <laughs> let's read our journal entry for the crash fish. This unusual species has developed an emergency defense mechanism based on mutually assured destruction. Forward mounted eye enables the creature to track and identify potential predators. You want more than one eye so you get binocular vision though. It's not a very good idea. Sulfur plant has evolved to feed on sulfuric compounds secreted by the crash fish, which makes its nest within its leaves. Stronger, more protective plants provide superior nesting grounds, which in turn provide the plant with more nutrients for larger crash fish. Uh, concentrations of sulfur build up in the organism over time. If the crash fish collides with something at sufficient speed, the spikes of its torso are impacted, triggering an explosive chemical reaction. Assessment. Equip stasis rifle, repulsion cannon, or similar before approaching shallow caves. That's very hilarious game, because you know full well we're not going to have either of those things before we encounter crash fish. Right, how much inventory space do we have? We have a lot. Let's keep grabbing stuff while we're here. Including salvage, because we can just bring that back with us. The copper hunt is fruitful today. Oh. 
I suppose there is the argument to be made that highlighting all the interactables makes this game a bit easier than it should be. Because it is a survival game rather than like a a base building. Well, I guess it is a base building game, but like the em there is emphasis on survival and the amount of time it takes for you to actually find something is a balance decision. And Below Zero is much less focused on the actual survival part. It was more about the plot. <laughs> Cringe. I like Below Zero, but the writing in that game is just not very good. We were we were pretty much making fun of it the whole time. But it was still very fun. Oh yeah, the the, the big tunnel. Yes. Oh, bladderfish. We want those. Make sure we've grabbed all the resources from this tunnel because it's very productive. Oh no, Popper. Uh, you know what? You don't need a flare. I don't think we needed to use the air bladder for that, but it was fun, so why not? Right, and now we need to go back and make some more some more things. I think for now we'll just leave the Seamoth parked at our base. We need more power plants as well. We should make another solar panel. Five hundred of your six hundred eighty four total hours are on one save. No, that's good though, because restarting a Dyson Sphere program is really annoying. It's really annoying. It's unlike Oni in that you should almost never restart in that game. You're usually better off just moving to a different system or something. That being said, I think the Dark Fog changes some of that calculus a little bit. Right, what's our power options again? So we have a thermal plant, which we obviously can't make because we don't have the resources for that. We could make another solar panel. Get power a bit quicker. I mean, obviously it's... Uh, I think I need to move it as well. Let's actually put them... I don't know. Here? Is there a snap to grid option? That would be very nice. Oh, no. No, I don't like that at all. I'm just going to fill with this now. Everything is so slow early game. I mean, on the one hand, that's nice when you come back to the game after you haven't played it for a while. But on the other hand, when you are when you are just trying to restart a run, it takes ages. Unless you use a load of metadata. But that's a finite resource. If I've ever heard of one. That'll do. Wait, you're not even attached. You're not even attached. You're just floating above it. Oh whatever. Right. Twice as much power is probably a good thing, especially if we're charging batteries. Uh, okay. Let's get some more titanium from the salvage. Probably won't make any more ingots for now, because we've got a whole locker for titanium. So, we need some water. We definitely need a better water, water solution than this. Right, uh, let's see. Uh, you're not fully charged yet. Actually, yeah, fully charged. Um, we will unequip that. We'll unequip that. Put them in here. Then probably the repair tool. Charge up all of these. You forgot where your quantum chip planet is. Chippy McChip face. <sighs> okay. Um, we should probably make a power cell charger at some point, but we don't have two rubies. Right. I think it's time we go and have a look at the Aurora. We've still got a peeper in here just hiding out. Let's actually cook him. You really need to name things better. Yeah, in our run, we were all, we, they were all named after um, 
Celine Dion and other singers because of Silly Device, which was very funny. I should probably make a medical pack fabricator. So let's see, we need a computer chip. Silver ore. Right, how do we make a how do we make a computer chip again? Table, coral times two and a gold. We do have these things. Because we're already kind of on... Well, our health is less than 100. And if we're going to go mess around with Reapers, we probably should do that. So now we need the creep vine samples, which we do have inventory... Which we don't have inventory space for. Let's put all the titanium in here. Beep, 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 beep. So grab some samples. Come back. It would be nice to make a... A thermo... No, don't attack the sea moth. You rude bugger. There we go. Hello, Mr. Rabbit Ray. How are you? Yes, you're starting to charge. And then at least we'll be able to heal ourselves. We don't need to make them super often. Because you can make a medical kit with just a fiber mesh, but we might as well just... Make a machine that makes them automatically. It's kind of a no-brainer. Uh, here you go. Oop. Let's go take a little while to run. What else do we want? I believe now we... Maybe we just... How many batteries do we have? We don't have that many batteries. We probably want to load the seam off. So let's unload that, load that, and then we'll go to the Aurora. So our base, we positioned it so it's between the life pod and that life pod 17 beacon. And we still need the beacon research. We still need the beacon blueprint. Uh, but yeah, let's go over to the Aurora. We're not going to go in there yet. We're going to we'll re-equip the radiation suit when we actually go do that, but I want to go get some diamond first. And I know there's stuff there's early game stuff that we haven't seen yet like the jelly shroom cave. So we should go and do that as well really, but I would like to go do the aurora today. Wander around on dry land for a little bit. But we definitely need a laser cutter for that. Oh. Oh right, yeah, no, I'm a twit. We need it now. Okay. <laughs> hmm, I wonder what's at the Aurora. Hmm, possibly radiation. Who's to say? Oh, hello. This bit's very shallow. I'm gonna run over all the fish. Your power capacity dies this bit has reached 9 terawatts. I find it so funny how the actual power usage in the game is way lower than you would expect. Like, if you told me that your Titan Sphere IRL generated 9 terawatts, I would give you a funny look. You're harvesting the entire power of a star, and you're generating energy comparable to a small country. Hmm. Right. Uh, I think we'll just take the rebreather with us. Anything else we want to put in here? We can just put some more raw. Raw ingredients. They're not cooked. Uh, we'll take the oxygen tank with us as well, just in case. But we will actually need to go fill that up. So let's do that. And do we have a pack yet? No. Okay. We'll take this battery. And we'll put that in this and then we just empty the battery out of that so that's fine okay no more dilly dallying let's go so yeah we have all the radiation equipment now let's do it oh no hold on we gotta go grab the bladder fish where are you? 
Poor sod. Are you alive or dead? You're dead. <laughs> we killed him. <laughs> we killed him, so we can't just keep him with us. Let's go make some more water out of you before you rot. We will give you. We will give you an honest burial. And by an honest burial, we mean we're going to bury the water bottle in our face, in our mouth hole. Oh, hello. You're alive. We'll take you alive. <laughs> we'll accept the prisoner. And we'll stop running over the bladderfish. We're drinking at the wheel. Drinking Pepsi. So, the Aurora uh, is surrounded by nasties. But there are riches as well uh, next to it. There's a big wall surrounding it that I believe is full of good resources. The color changes as we enter the area. And the entrance to the ship is around the east corner. So this wall, I believe, has diamonds on it. Maybe? I might be wrong. There's more fragments though. We do want to look for more fragments. So as long as there's not actually any... Okay, we don't need bioreactor stuff. So long as there's not actually any reapers nearby. Okay, we already have that. We don't have the rebreather, so... Oh, well, we could equip it if we want, but... I don't think we want to. So let's have a look. There's a bit of a deeper wall here. There's salt. There's lithium. I think we'll just take the hit to our O2, to be honest. There's the mushroom trees, or whatever they are. Shale deposits. Okay. Max read speed from your SSD is 1.3 gigabytes per second. Cool beans. Yeah, this is fine. The biomass in this area is dominated by plant life, picking up faint or terra vehicle signatures. We're like a diamond. What is this? Moon pool. Okay. We already had that. There's some big chunks of lithium down here. I think we're looking for more shale outcrops. In fact, let's see what the data bank says. Yeah. Yeah, the shale contains diamonds. I was right. Ooh, a ghost ray. These guys are friendly. I think. It's making a noise. A jelly ray. Okay. Come back! I want to be a friend! He's so cute. Look at him. Scan a tree mushroom. Mm hmm. A tree leech. Fascinating. That looks disgusting. So, I don't think the Reapers hang out here by the trees. I believe we made a base here in the past because it's near the wall with the diamonds and whatnot. But we're not going to do that again because I don't want to. I don't want to repeat too much what we did in the last run. I did unlist those videos because they were very old. Remember the materials you gather. Yay, diamond. The property of the All Terra Corporation. You will be liable to reimburse the full market price. Your Thanks, game. Stands at three million credits. We need two diamonds. So let's grab one more, and then head back. Or well, grab as many as okay. How much inventory space do we have? Five. Let's just look around for more big deposits. Probably grab a load more lithium. There's big, there's large resource deposits here which are helpful in general when you have the prawn suit. The drill. We're not looking for salt. 
we don't want to go too far from the from the uh seam off okay that'll do We'll come and explore all this stuff a bit more thoroughly later, but we just need to turn off the radiation for now. We need to go fix the ship. Maybe make some more batteries while we're at it. So, this is the correct direction to go in. You just need to go to the other side of the thing. Another fragment worth scanning. Oh, hello. Ooh. Weirdo. Okay, we already have a Seamoth Fragment. What are you doing? Get off me. We'll go repair you when we get back. The Tiger Plant. More Reef Backs. Uh, we don't have any inventory space, actually. We do now. <laughs> See if we find a Barnacle. Barnacles always have non-Titanium stuff on them. Ooh, what's this? What's this? the green table coral okay barnacle silver i'll take it i like brief facts i think everyone is generally in consensus that the life forms in the base game are generally more interesting than the ones in below zero like the the ones in below zero are interesting for the setting but if you're going to come back to the game, there's just more depth to what you can find in this game, I think. I'm very interested to see what direction they take some Nautica 3, because I know they're working on that at the moment. I wonder whether they're going to continue the plotline from Below Zero, or whether they're going to actually just do something completely different. I feel like they should do something completely different. Because what? What's the alternative? We just go and... Uh, Go and explore the Architect's home planet. I don't think they're going to do that. Frankly, I don't think it's a very interesting setting for a Subnautica game. Let's see what we find. Aurora, we're approaching the planet now. We have a landing site okay. for you that's... Well, it's better than the alternatives. We've sent you the coordinates. It'll take us a couple that of is days going to here as well. our orbit. Should be able to establish direct contact with you during that time. Then we're coming in to get you. Cross your fingers, the weather holds. Don't leave us waiting. Sunbeam out. Oh god, look, we're gonna be rescued in 40 minutes. And then we can then we'll beat the game. I think you can imagine how this is gonna go. Right, uh, let's see. I think we'll just dump this stuff. Oh right, the laser cutter. We need to make that for sure. So you need a battery and a titanium. The ironic thing is, okay, so let's actually use an empty battery when we're making this. Do we even have the option? Yeah, so load this with the full battery and then this will definitely use the lower filled battery to make this. Now, will that actually result in a lower filled uh, laser cutter? I don't think so. Nope. It's 100% charge. There we go. Right. In that case, we'll put the lithium back. We've got two medical packs as well. We'll take those. Did we really have medical packs stored in here the whole time? That's very funny. I think that'll do. Um, yeah, why not? Now, I believe there's pl generally a fair amount of food actually on the Aurora. So we'll go do that. Let's go repair this first. So, the Sunbeam landing site is over there, and then there's the Rendezvous Point Dry Land, which is the island. Okay. Welcome aboard, Captain. Let's 
go do the Aurora first. We could probably do that in, what, half an hour? Maybe. We'll see. We shall irradiate these guys for as little time as possible. Kaboom. There's a ship. It's dark. Also, we've been using a lot of power on these lights unnecessarily. Uh, is this interesting? Possibly. Have a quick look. I feel like we were already here. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything interesting. Another radio message? Great. We're uh, not going back for it. More reef backs. Let's see any barnacles. Oh, you're very close to the surface. We're gonna we're gonna run you over. Okay, this one's full of barnacles. Fish paste. Barnacles. Barnacles are always worth breaking, because they always have non-titanium stuff in them. Very good source of copper. I think that's all of them. Oh, there's a plant. A tigery plant. Ah, are these guys about to bump backs? <laughs> Feel like, yes, he's dragging. This reef back is dragging its tentacles seductively across the other one's uh, bow. Okay. Right, ship is here. We won't dally around the ship. I think there's some codes. I don't think we found all the codes, but I don't think we're supposed to. Maybe we'll go back at some point. Ooh, a box. Give me the box. Also, those are very bright lights. See, this is what I mean. There's usually uh, stuff around the Aurora from the crash, so you don't necessarily have to bring a load of supplies with you. And if you do, your inventory is probably going to get pretty full pretty quickly. But if you hear the Reaper, then fear the Reaper. <laughs> Some stalkers over here as well. Like a beacon fragment. Let's see. Propulsion cannon fragment. Uh that would be a good idea to make actually, wouldn't it? Oh, we could make that now. Let's go make that. That's that'd be so quick to make that. We've already got all this stuff. Sorry guys. <laughs> we We are gonna get to the Aurora. Maybe at this point it's what because I know we need the propulsion cannon for something as well. I forgot there's some crates we need to move with it. So we do actually need to go make that. Maybe we'll just search for some more advanced materials in the meantime. And then go to the We could actually just go to the rendezvous point now. Oh wow, look, there's three reef packs. Keep looking for barnacles. This is the one we harvested, I believe. Oh, uh, this one. None on you. The number three is this one, I believe. You've not got any barnacles either. Lies. Lies and slander. We could actually just fabricate stuff here if it's quicker. I don't think we have the extra battery. You know, get the extra battery from home. 
So line ourselves up. That's all good. Yeah, we'll go to the Aurora after the Sunbeam. We've got time. This is a nice game just for the ambience. Even just zipping around not being overly productive is uh, an enjoyable experience. Right, let's make this thing then. We can make an extra battery as well. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Now, is that the one where... Is that the one in the Shroom Cave? Not sure. I love the music in this game as well. It's so good. This thing's pretty bulky, but we do need it to move stuff around. to the ocean bed. 250 meters. Oh, we've got the rebreather. We can, we can do that. Quite far away. Let's go do it. Whatever. We didn't have an inventory full of stuff, no. Uh, I'll drink a water. Probably do need to eat some food as well. More floaters. Oh, right, the radiation. Oh, okay. Okay, game, I get it. Oh, whatever. So, we can't use rebreather, but we do have a... We do have a spare O2 tank, but 250 meters is pretty deep without a rebreather. Because the penalty stacks, I believe. Thanks for the follow. Thank you very much for follow God Boko. God Boko. Hello, Dash Games. Hope you're doing all, all right. The raid alert didn't seem to play for some reason. <laughs> there doing, right. we go. Oh, okay. Yeah, great. Thanks. Thanks, Whiskers. Appreciate it. Pizza Lovers Guild. Hey, oh, yes. We're playing some Nautica. I have played this game before, but we're playing it again. Because we didn't actually do the uh, Living Large update. Where they added a load of stuff from below zero. Okay, more resources. That's crabby. Don't really want lead. Silver, I will take. Yeah, so Nordic is really good. We played the uh, we played below zero a little while ago, and I showed everyone the end of my last run, where we almost beat the game, and then all the water decided to. Uh, disappear from our save. So that was fun. Another medical kit you shouldn't have. I mean it. Okay, let's keep going over here. So here's the Aurora. There are just lots of boxes around containing various things. There are Reapers as well. So we need to watch out for the Reapers. Yes, you can hear one over there. That's You're not a Reaper. You're a little sand shark. So I guess we're just trying to do the Aurora in here. That's what I wanted to do. Let me in. So yeah, we go in this way. 
I'm not currently seeing a Reaper in the wreckage of the Aurora, so I think we're fine. Yeah, we're going to need to repair this. Okay, how do I even get out of here again? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's repair this first. I feel like I may possibly be pushing my luck by uh, trying to do this before the sunbeam arrives. Right, uh, looks like we can get out over here. Is there actually anything over here, though? No. Good to know. I'm getting lost. You're gonna go get some food cooking? Fair enough. Enjoy your food. Yeah, don't be surprised if I just mill around, uh here not knowing where to get in for like the next 20 minutes oh we have the hold on let's actually use the map on the sea glide Does that help uh no we were getting the music But I don't think it is this bit. I think we gotta go a bit further. Maybe up here. No. That doesn't look right. <laughs> the more time we spend getting lost trying to figure out how to get into this shit. Oh, this looks more promising. Okay, this is literally the same area. Fire suppression equipment and laser cutters may be required. Exploration is conducted at your own risk. Yes, game. Very good game. Uh, this doesn't seem right. No, we're... <laughs> I think we missed it. I think we're around completely the wrong side now. Look, there's a rock clipping into the, the ship. That looks promising. Looks like something we're supposed to interact with, maybe? No, it's just a panel. Something. Boo! Show me the money. Nope, that wasn't right. <laughs> wow, that... Wow, we're really just bashing this thing around. Good thing this thing doesn't use that much power. I don't think we need to go deeper. That's definitely not what we're supposed to do. Oh, is it night time now? Ray, I think it's just an eclipse. I do not like the feel of this. Okay, let's just get out of here. Let's just try again. Let's go underneath and get out of here. Have we even go underneath? I don't think I've even... I, I don't think I've ever gone underneath. I'm just very lost at this point.
Right, let's just get out of here and try again. Okay, I can see the sky. Uh, I should be able to hear crabs as well, because there were crabs. Okay, look, we're literally by the life pod. I think I'm just going to go look at the life pod at this point. We're going to cut our losses. We'll come back. We'll come back. We're almost... Oh, yep, there he is. There's a reaper. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's good. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So... This is definitely not a good idea. Gotta do it anyway. Nope. Nope. No, no, no. The thing is very far away. It's very big. The constant shaking is not helping me feel better either. Okay, let's go down here. If nothing else, we might find some interesting fragments down here. Yep, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm hearing a lot of alerts. This is not a good sign. We need, we need to actually... We need to actually stay at this level. This would be a good case for a depth upgrade. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, look, I can see a plant. Okay. We're just going to park the sea moth above the plant. And then we'll go down. We definitely shouldn't be here yet. This is... <laughs> this is, uh... Yeah. Oh, good. Hello, everyone. Hello, Ampia. <laughs> Let's get this uh, data box. Repulsion cannon. We can use the actual repulsion cannon. Nice. Okay. I'm not really a doctor. I know that's what my ID says, but I never have been. Hello. Cheated the medical exams. What does a doctor these days need to know about manually scanning bones? When was the last time a top surgeon actually cut someone open? That's what the robots are for. Doctors these days read diagnoses off of computer readouts. For that, I'm perfectly qualified. But what good is it when I'm not connected to the main network? This poor sod. I've got glowing green pustules growing on my hands. I run a self-scan and it tells me I've got skin irritation. The only thing I studied good. in medical school was how to lie convincingly. <laughs> what the hell do I know about how to treat an alien disease? I'm actually going to die down here. This poor sod. Detecting volcanic activity. Oh, we can make the ultra high capacity tank. We should do that. Signatures in the region. Exercise caution when diving deeper. You can get a diamond for the modification station, can't we? That would be a good idea. We need to go back and get some food anyways. We've we farted around for too long now. Yeah. Uh how do we even get back? This way. <laughs> Are we going to stumble across a reaper? Probably. Do I care? Uh, maybe. I can hear it, but I can't see it. We'll be fine. Do some ghost rays. Oh, some jelly rays. I like the jelly rays. They have friends. Lots of jelly rays, lots of friends. We need to go recharge the power cells as well. Well, we tried to get to Aurora, it didn't work. We'll come back, try it from a different angle. We'll get some food and then we'll go to the sunbeam point. Yes, I know, radio. 
Yes game, I get it. Well, I'm thoroughly enjoying this. I always enjoy this game. I do really want to progress with it though. I want to get to the point where we have the Cyclops and I can start setting up my big base. But I suppose I shouldn't rush it either. It's very pleasant just hanging out in the game. Unfortunately, our base is the wrong side compared to all this stuff, so it's quite a trek. Also, I think the lights use a lot of power, so we probably shouldn't be using the lights so much. <clears throat> That's funny. So, have I got any interesting non-game related news? I might do Bellatro tomorrow. <laughs> I've been really enjoying Bellatro. I've been doing it off-stream. I'm saving the challenge runs to do on stream because I think that's a, I think that's something pretty good to try on Twitch um, and see where it goes. We're, we're starting to unlock some of the more difficult ones. And um, I think it would be helpful to show people good approaches for actually solving them. Because it's more like a puzzle than a normal run because you've got to find some way to make the restriction work or build something that isn't going to interfere with the restriction. But yeah, very fun poker roguelike. Yeah, we'll grab more bladder fish. Yeah, okay. That's probably plenty of food, etc. We'll probably need another diamond to make a modification station. So we'll do all that stuff when we get Welcome back. Aboard, this is Life Pod 4. We've landed close to the Aurora. Flotation device is active, but we've got some big old fish in the water with us. And big old fish. We're, last. we're close to the crash site, so bring radiation protection. Four out. Amazing. Coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. Mm-hmm. I'd like to eat one boomerang, please. I'd like to eat two boomerang, please. You may as well call me Captain Boomerang. We've got a third boomerang. Uh, let's eat the boomerangs first. They do not give a lot of food. We're actually going to need more food than three boomerangs. It's not amazing. Four. And then probably a fifth one. Uh, we should actually salt some food as well and actually use that salt. So maybe we'll salt some boomerangs. I know the peepers are better value. They're also harder to catch, maybe. Maybe? No. Okay, that'll do. So... Hook. Eat. We'll get the salt. And then we'll actually cure these ones. It's dehydrating though, so you need to bring water. Yeah, let's see how much food it gives us. I think it's a normal amount of food. And uh, you can go free, little buddy. Right, let's put some of this back. Uh, let's just put the equipment, or put the materials in here. We do actually have plenty of waters, we do have plenty of med kits. Okay, let's just go. Let's just go to the sunbeam uh, point and we'll hang out for a bit. I don't think there's any point doing anything else for now. Hopefully we're not going to have to push this thing. But yeah, you guys got any recommendations for good places to put bases? Because we did one on the cliff by the tree mushrooms uh, in the previous run. Uh, we did one in the sea treaders path so we could harvest all the sea treader poop. 
And we did one in the lava zone because of course we did. I believe we've already scanned that one. Interesting fragments. Not really sure. Go over here. One of the big sharks. We scan a big shark. Hello. You look like a friendly fella. Oh, and then there's all the big floaters down there. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense because we're near the floating island. Yeah, look at that. It's, uh, that's some pop in you got right there. Wonder when the rest of the island's going to pop in. We could build an above ground base, that'd be pretty funny. In here, Reaper. Always a good sign. Okie dokie, well here we are. This is where, I believe this is where we set up our rockets. Last time. Detecting massive energy signature in the region. Cannot identify. Massive energy signature? Oh, maybe it's this big thing over here. Hmm, I wonder. Oh, look! The peeper! The peeper! <laughs> the peeper's made his way up to dry land! Here you go, buddy. You can go back in the ocean. Have fun. Silly fish. Wait, can I scan you? Why can I scan you? Oh, you've got the thing! Come back here. Come back here. No? I thought they may have had an enzyme or something. I could definitely scan one of them. More shale. We do want another diamond. Yes. Hmm. Big, big thing. Big building. Pointing upwards. Looking majestic. We're very slow. Let's scan some plants. A bulbo tree. A bulb based flora. Edible high water content. Ooh. Hold on. Yes, I feel I feel like I've forgotten a lot of what I knew about this game. Okay, so that's a tree sample. Oh, that gives food and water. Amazing. And I presume this isn't gonna actually cut down the tree, so we can just <laughs> We can just keep doing this. Nice. Well, I don't believe we have any of the equipment to actually grow that yet. Also, there is a sprint button. It's shift. It took me a very long amount of time to figure that out. Ooh, the little birdies. Let's go scan the little birdies. Let me reach you. Let me reach you. Yeah. We found a dumb one. <laughs> I love how the picture just looks like a little man wearing a wingsuit. Oh, hello. Oh, yep, there we go. We got a cave crawler. My favorite dudes. I know what to do with you. Well, get mauled by you wasn't exactly what I was aiming for. All right, yes. Okay, now let's see here. Listen, listen here. You're going to go on a trip. You're going to go back to the water where you belong. Goodbye. <laughs> I like this thing. Let's just exert power over the land creatures. Oh, can we grab a ray? That'd be very funny. We can grab a ray. Look! <laughs> we have acquired bird! We must find a way to use this knowledge. This saps all the power, though. Be free, little birdie. Oh my god. <laughs> he just got absolutely yeeted. We, that'll, that'll be fine. Okay, so we're supposed to meet them here. We're not going to go in the building yet, but let's have a look around. Uh, hmm. Oh yes, hmm, mystery. I wonder who made this building. Hmm. Very spooky. Secrets of the universe. There's a force field. I don't believe we can enter it. Force field control. Requires a purple tablet. Now, don't do what I did. 
when I first played this game, we made a load of tablets. You don't need a load of tablets. I'm pretty sure you can find almost all of the tablets you need just on the map. Right, game. You're going to have to show me where the alien stuff is. Alien data. This device matches known, known technologies. It's like the alien in nature. No shit. Power is being routed via the terminal to the nearby force field. The, the technology is far beyond anything encountered by the Federation. Nevertheless, there's a good chance it functions like a regular lock and only requires the correct key. Very astute observation. Purple tablet fragment. Ooh, look. What's this? It's conveniently laying a uh, fragment that lets us get the blueprint. This carbon device, carbon-based device, is light and it looks, and it features a symbol which resembles a U lit up in purple. Despite the onboard power still functioning, algae growth on the exterior indicates it was abandoned hundreds, perhaps thousands of years ago. While the technology is far beyond Federation levels and there's no obvious way to interface with it, it should be possible to fabricate a precise physical copy of the device if necessary. Yes. So all we need to actually manufacture this is uh, an ion cube and two diamonds. Yeah, don't waste all your ion cubes making tablets. Let's have a look around the island for a bit more. Um, go up here, maybe. Oh, look! What's this? A conveniently <laughs> lying around tablet. Hmm, who could have left this here? Hmm. Tastes like purple. It's grape flavored. And we can run along here. I don't think there's anything to see on the outside of the building. Any other interesting things down here? Maybe some rock deposits. Obviously underwater there's uh, warpers and stuff, so I don't want to really go around here too much. But the building does go underwater as well. Oh, and there's reapers. Definitely reapers. Yeah, nothing super interesting there. There is a large lead deposit. That is not super interesting either game. Is that a rock deposit? No. Go around here for a little bit, but it's going to be four minutes until the ship arrives, so I don't want to go too far. Look, he just fled. <laughs> right decision. Right decision, mate. The tunnel. I believe this will provide a functioning map. No? I guess not. I guess we'll just have to chance it. Now, I would love to find some... Oh, I would love to find some magnetite game. I don't... Maybe it is found in here? Or maybe that's the below zero of me thinking. Ooh. That looks very dangerous. It's not fallen there. Uh, maybe if we go up here a little bit we'll find something. We found a crab, just vibing. Little sods. Well, you're not really a threat if we just run around. Pink cap. Let's do. Stew. Uh, inedible. Okay, well, we'll take you anyways. A speckled rattler. We'll take you as well. These guys do not do a lot of damage. We're probably not going to bother wasting power on them. Lithium. I do like a lithium. Is it bad that I'm really just enjoying walking around the cliffs on, like, this random nature hike with, like, no enemies or anything? <laughs> Maybe I should find some kind of walking simulator game at some point. I'm sure I'm sure you guys would love to see me doing that. Yeah, we can't eat those. We should probably take those for later. I don't need this flare. Give me the gold. Ooh! We found a thing. 
We found a thing. It's a teleporter. Requires us to insert an ion cube. Oh, alien arch. My bad. It's an alien arch. Yes, who knows what it's for? No one. Interesting. All right, well, let's head back. I, mean, I think we've got enough stuff for now. Uh, landing point is just down there. Am I going to Skyrim horse this? We've got, we've got some medical kits. I think we are. Oh, yep, this is a good idea. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> we're we're uh, reverse Skyrim horse again. Good. More fish. Hello, fish. You're very confused. I wonder what the code was in this game for actually deciding what the fish do. I imagine that must be something quite fun to put on your CV. Oh, yeah, of course, the inventory's full. Yep, I probably should have seen that coming. Uh, time to eat the food. Yeah, there you go. Failed. Ooh, a diamond! Yay, we wanted a diamond. Anything else down here? There's some of those little fish. Okay, well, we've got a minute left. Let's just... Let's just stand on the designated point and accept our fate with a knife. Aha! Aha! Look, we can see our shadow here. Amazing. Now, if you ever see a guy who's wielding a knife like this, you need to fear for your life. Ooh. We got an eclipse? Possibly. Good timing. Ooh. Yep. I'm hearing things. This is moving around. If this actually happens during an eclipse, it's very funny. Mmm, the building is moving around. It's making a loud noise. This can only mean good things. There we go. Survivor, we see you. Where are you? I don't know how you held out down there. We broke an atmosphere. I can't see you. Towards the landing site. Is that a building down there? Where, where are you? What do you mean you're are you behind the moon? Oh no, there you are. Yeah, look, there's the ship. Look, they're coming to save us. They're coming to save us. Touching down in ten. Amazing. They don't look very visually distinct, do they? Oop. Hello. Set thrusters to full. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh no, our rescue ship. <laughs> our plan that was definitely going to succeed. Wow. Pretty cinematic with all the moons in the way. I'm going to be honest. If I was a sunbeam, I would not feel comfortable uh, landing just based on the gravitational pull of these moons alone. Like... I don't think the gun actually needed to be here. If the ship landed, then it probably would have uh, just careened into one of these things. Well, there you go. That was fun. Rip Bozo. Yes, indeed. Rip Bozo. This moon is way too close. This gives me megalophobia. I think when I was younger, I actually had megalophobia. I remember that I would get scared if I was reading one of the books that had, um, that showed like all the planets at the same size or like the same relative scale and you had like Jupiter next to all of them. I actually got scared of that when I was a kid. Thankfully that fear did not last into adulthood. Right. Well, we've got the purple tablets. So we can go back in here now. I'm making the noise. Very good. Surprises happen at night. Definitely didn't happen last time. Insert tablet. Very convenient. Thank you, game. Scans indicate this structure is composed of a metal alloy with unprecedented integrity. Indeed. No match is found in database. Performing structural analysis. Aha, we're infected. 
foreign bacteria count has reached statistically significant levels. No adverse effects detected. Be vigilant for symptoms. I like the architectural style they've got going on here. All these random columns that don't do anything. The only the only thing I was scared of was bees. Yeah, but that makes sense. It's like bee stings are a thing. Uh -huh. I'm not saying that your fears have to make sense, but it makes more sense than my fear. Unknown language attempting translation. Huh? Already, that's what. Just saying, it's a computer. The, te the aliens have technology to hear the device. And the developers are more advanced than humans, so they can actually understand it. Well, I think we already knew that game. Your best probability of interfacing with this facility is achieved by accessing the control room in the lower section. That makes a lot of sense. You make a lot of sense, Miss Mrs. Tablet. Look, an ion cube. Just left it lying around here on a little platform to raise up. Like, go on, take it. Can you imagine if, if picking one of these up just killed you? This is why I shouldn't be a game developer. Like, it just comes, it just raises up with this plinth, makes a nice, satisfying, glowing noise, and you pick it up, and then it gives you an electric shock, and you die. I would, I would totally do that if I was a game developer. Which is why I should not be allowed to develop video games. Well, I'm not seeing any of those robot spiders in here. Oh, another one? Oh, you're so generous, game. Un computer. Unknown language. Attempting translation. Yes, we figured out that part. Data appears to be a multi-dimensional schematic of some kind. The facility's unknown construction material is an ultra-hard non-reactive metal amalgam. Synthesized from off-world materials, there's no indication of any damage or destroyed by available means. Built by a separate self-sustaining power plant located elsewhere on the planet. The location is not listed, but there is evidence the designers intended to harness the planet's natural thermal energy. This facility consists of the upper engineering section, where the schematic was found in the control room, which is accessed by a security steel elevator shaft or a separate underwater moon pool. The control room in the lower section houses only, the only known way to interface with the facility, so the schematic does not detail the operation procedure or security measures. Okay. That is fine. So you know what that means? It means we have to jump down a suspicious shaft. Suspicious shaft. Oop, there we go. Very, very fancy. See, we need one of those in Oni. Like a tractor beam. I, I, oh no, I didn't mean to go back in it. No, get me out of here. God damn it. <laughs> I, guess, I guess you're going on the enforcement platform's wild ride. <laughs> well, that was fun. Let's uh, let's go backwards this time. No, that doesn't work. Okay. <laughs> Very pretty though. They've been stung. You just don't like their noise. Yeah, I've been stung. It's not pleasant. Also, when a bee sting you, uh, stings you, the bee dies. It's not like a wasp. Yeah, here's the moon pool. Can we scan this? That'd be very funny if we just scan the entire moon pool. Oh, you know what would be really cool? If we literally just made our base in the moon pool. That would be sick. Like, we could even have it go above water. But, I mean, I think the intention is that you're supposed to bring the Cyclops in here at some point. But... We'll see. We'll see what we feel like doing. Sounds really cool. Oh, look, we found a thing. We found an alien rifle. Let's read all of these. These are fun. Strong resemblance to human weaponry and form. This must have been designed with a humanoid user in mind. But the aliens have built the structure whether themselves humanoid or otherwise employed the use of humanoids is unclear. What is clear is that they consider defending this facility a necessary precaution. There's no obvious way to remove the rifle from the case. No. Yeah, imagine if we were going around shooting all the fish with a, an alien rifle. Another cube. Thank you. Oh, inventory full. Right, this looks like a job for eating the cured peeper. <laughs> We've still got a live peeper here. Maybe we put the peeper back. Peeper, peeper, bow peeper. I 
I'm pretty sure this is just where we came out of. Lost again. Yeah, okay. I remember that we have to go up the stairs. I just want to check we're not missing anything else in the room. There is a room over here that we didn't go in. Let's have a look. Ah, uh, yes, this is the arch, which we do not know how to use. We cannot turn it on from here. Oh, we need to go back in the other bit. Because we have the iron cube now. Yeah, we need to go do that. Yeah, we're pretty far away from the Aurora. Now. Let's go back up here. See if there's any other scannables. There is a purple tablet just lying around. You'll love to see it. You know, for all the talk of security procedures these guys have, they do just leave these security tablets lying around a lot. Oh look guys, we found a Pokeball. What do? Doomsday device. Scans indicate this device contains enough potential energy to destroy the solar planet. Along with most, uh, the entire planet along with most of the solar system. Fortunately, it has malfunctioned. I'm going to be honest. How does the scanner know? How, do, how does the scanner able to measure that much energy? <laughs> Game. Your pseudo science mumbo jumbo isn't going to work on me forever. What if we walk into this? Do we get Zot? Is that no? It just stops us from going in. It makes a loud noise. You guys enjoying the noise? Mmm, crunchy. Oh look, a convenient place for the tablet. I'm glad we solved the really difficult puzzle. I don't think there's anything in those bits. There's the suspicious pillar of suspiciousness. Am I wrong? Is there an ion cube hiding around here? For the inquisitive? This does not look like a uh, positive space. It's funny, you can tell which areas are designed for the player to go in and which areas are just designed to be aesthetic. So there's obviously not anything around here. Alright, let's go look at the suspicious pillar of suspiciousness. Energy core. Oh, there's the thing behind this thing. Okay. Uh, hold on. <laughs> there we go. This device houses energy equipment up to 100 megaton nuclear detonation, which can be channeled over the facility and directed to vessels overhead or bent around the planet's gravitational pull to strike targets in orbit. Power is routed by the attached terminal, allowing for the device to be activated if necessary. It's currently operating without parameters, suggesting it'll target any ship within range. Well, there we go. We've got to press the button. Interact. Look, it's giving us the little pokey, pokey mouse. <laughs> uh, pokey hand uh, icon. Let's do it. Pokey, pokey. Position hand. Oh, yep. That looks good. Mm hmm. Yep. Hello. Ow. <laughs> Got stabbed. The control panel is broadcasting a message. Translation reads Warning, infected individuals may not disable the weapon. A gray. The planet is under quarantine. Yes, we knew we were infected from when we did our self scan. Well, that's not good. So, I don't think we want to press that again. Alien facility locations. So, these are the other places that we need to go. Desert, uh, disease research facility. S um, objective sensors of antidote for highly infectious bacterium designated Cara. I think it's pronounced Cara. Thermal power facility. Uh, sanctuary A, Sanctuary B, off-site laboratory, primary containment facility. There we go. Places we need to go. Which we don't have uh, beacons for, but it's just telling us to exist. Cool beans! Well, we should probably take those ion cubes back with us. So, let's go back up the shaft and use one of them to activate that teleporter. Can I just jump down here? I'm gonna jump. Yeah. 
Yeah, that wasn't too much damage. Uh, I believe we need to go through this entrance. No, I feel like this game's atmosphere is at its strongest when you're on your own and you're trying to figure out the mystery. I didn't really like how uh, everything was sort of explained in Below Zero. Give us mysteries. Let us solve them. Mystery of how do I how do I activate this force field with the suspicious purple uh, tablet button? Oh look, a convenient purple tablet. Let's get out of here. This bit reminds me of one of those old Halo levels. Man, I love the Halo games. And then we can wander around here, and then we're all done. Now it's daytime! Oh look, a peeper. Right, uh, we need to go back up. Have we got any more water left? We do not. Uh, oh, yeah, we can just eat these. Mm -hmm. Okay, we need to drop some of these. Okay. We need at least four free inventory space. So, Mr. Peeper, you can get dropped. Here you go. Uh, we'll drop the lead. We don't need lead. And now we can eat these trees one segment at a time and restore all of our stats. To be honest, if you eat if you ate this many tree segments, you would probably turn into the size of a tree. We're all right. Okay, so uh, we'll just keep following us around like we were before. We'll go dump the ion cube up here. What of you? If only we knew how to actually get it. We'll probably do that today as well. I think we've got time to do that today as well. So we follow this thing. Glowy. Sprint past all these bugs. We're up here. Then... Oh, what's in here? Rocks. I mean, if we find magnetite, I'm all for that. I don't think we're going to find magnetite, though. Spooders. This is asking for trouble. We, we are so going to get lost in here. A lot of lithium. This definitely wasn't the way we came. Well, we are looking for stuff in general, but... A purple tablet? Wow. Very nice. Some salt. There is so much lithium in here. Okay. Are we slowly making our way up the mountain? No. No, we were here. We were here a minute ago. How about we go this way? Can 
More fungal doodads. Can we just keep trying to go up? This seems encouraging. Okay, a beacon of some kind. Oh, okay. Look, we did it. Hooray. <laughs> that was definitely not the way we came here. All right, cool. Insert ion cube. Don't mind if I do. We, we've cubed them. Right, let's all look. Where does this go then? Yes, I wonder what this mysterious device is for. Hmm. Very flashy loading screen. Picking up multiple energy signatures on the island's surface. Oh wait, I feel like a twit now. Is this just another Is this just another one? Another is this the original teleports we found? Hmm. What are these? We scan these? Is this just a random room? Is there nothing in here? I'm sure there's something in here. It does seem a little bit like a random room. I mean, it's nice. But surely this can't be it. Oh, hold on. What's this? Ancient floater, what? What? No, this isn't where we are. This is the wrong thing. And I need to adjust my camera a little bit. So you guys can maybe read this while I'm adjusting my camera. Stupid exposure thing not working. Oh, I, that's not the exposure thing. I didn't turn the lamp on. That would be a good idea, wouldn't it? <laughs> there we go. Okay. Yeah, this definitely isn't what we're looking at. Assessment incredible. I mean, I guess, but it's not here. Just scan the grass. I'm more confused now than I was before. This teleporter doesn't actually do anything. Oh, wait, can we go up here? Ah! Wait, where are we now? Ooh, look, glowy trees. Is this the same island? This is not the same island. Okay. <laughs> okay, we just teleported to the other island. Interesting. Well, I guess I guess we're here now. Voxel shrub. What does this do? A pink leafed plant. There we go. A Ming plant. What is a Ming plant? Hardy specimen which grows on land. Bays like trunk protects a root system. Okay, that doesn't do anything then, does it? Right, let's remove the air bladder. That was not what I wanted to do. Okay, maybe it was. Uh, we don't want just a random plant specimen. Uh, what's this? A Jaffa cup. Is it full of Jaffa cakes? Common land fungus. Mm. Take one. No. Okay. The red plants. We're not allowed to scan the red plants. Okay. Uh, well, considering we're like 2,300 meters from our, from our thing, we may as well just look at this place and teleport back. An orange colored land plant with a thick protein rich sludge at its base. Carnivorous eats eat insects and other goobers. Okay. 
Uh, what's... Oh, look! Haha! -ha. Exterior grow bed. We did it. Advanced synthetic soils can be installed underwater. Amazing. So now I can grow plants. Good. Marble melons! Ooh, this is really good. We found the marble melons. Yes. We can eat these. Or uh, plant them. Why do I eat that? We need to, like, grab a seed. Yeah, look, we got some seeds. Good. So we got the grow bed and we got the marble melons. That's so good. Well, that was very convenient. There's the potatoes. Chinese potatoes. I should probably get like one of each seed. That would be a good idea, wouldn't it? Hmm. Right, okay. What else do we have here that I need? So I do need... We don't need these. We can make those at home. So if I cut this down, will it give me seeds? No, it seems like we just plant a potato. Well, that's not ideal. Because that's probably going to die fairly soon. Anything else? Just marble melons. Oh, I'm very pleased. Yeah, because that basically just solves food completely. Do not drop in the water. That would be a bad idea. More mushrooms. Okay. I bet this wasn't the direction you saw today taking. Huh? Welcome to Land Nautica. See, I, I much prefer this to how they did it in Below Zero, because it's like, here, you don't know what's going to be here, and your character isn't talking about it. Like, you're just trying to figure it out. <gasps> well, that wasn't very smart. So we found grow beds. There must be habitat or something here that we can scan. So we can start making more advanced base stuff. Radio. We're not going to be looking at that for a while. Aha, look. Speaking of the devil. Stasis rifle fragment. We'd love to see it. Okay, listen here. If you do the wrong thing, we're going to pick you up and we're going to chuck you somewhere else. So, a data box of some kind, maybe? Here's the other fragment. Now listen, you're not very smart, are you? I just said... Oh, no, okay. We picked up a rock. Come back here. I just said what I was going to do. So now you get to join the birds. I, I'm pretty sure he just despawned. Oh, what's this? What can we scan now? The spotlight. Okay, yeah. That'll do. Uh, Multi-purpose room. Hey, there we go. The big room. I mean, there is a bigger room that we can build. But this will be a good start. Very nice. A purple tablet. Can we get in here? We can. I should probably take all these purple tablets. Maybe we don't take the potato back with us. I feel like one food is probably good enough. PDA. It looks like that unlocked a few... <laughs> I, I feel like perhaps we weren't supposed to discover this at the same time. Blueprint size large room glass dome. That's from uh, Below Zero. Let's read the uh, PDA. Advanced theories? No. Uh, we want the Degassi voice log. <laughs> I don't think we found this in the right order. I found it outside in the sand. Uh, part of another ship? No, 
I've ever seen. It's not even scratched. Ah, don't fool around with it. It might be worth something. Stand down, Chief. If it were gonna crumble to dust, it would have done so when I picked it up. It's glowing. We're not the first people to come to this planet. People? Maybe. Could be aliens. Could be the damn sea monsters for all we know. It's One Stabby Lady. Sure, we ain't gonna find out by staying here. We called her Stabby Lady in uh, Below Zero. Can we get in here? We can! Wow, look at that. I found a box. Ultra Glide Fins. Very nice. What else we got? Anything? Any scannables? A ladder. A box. What's in a box? Battery. I'll take that. Another PDA. Chief's log. Five weeks since the crash. The only other survivors are my son. I think we're Mark, supposed to find these ones Mira, first. The cut price mercenary are commissioned for the journey. After days drifting in the life pod, rain hammering on the roof, the weather cleared and we washed up here. I had made a salvage the Degazi wreck, set Bart to finding us a stable source of food. His education is paying off sooner than I'd anticipated. Our only problem is Maida. She says the weather's going to turn. I say she's finding excuses to risk our lives. I imagine she's not gonna weaken her life without a physical altercation, and she's itching for a fight. In every judgment she makes, things go from bad to worse. If she had my experience, she'd have more faith. <laughs> yeah. Humans have spent millennia specializing in how to shackle nature to our will. This planet won't cause us any new problems. My one task now is to keep us alive as comfortably as possible until the insurance company arranges rescue. That sounds pretty boring. In this part of space, <laughs> that could be months or even years. Already. Son, I said wait for the storm to pass. Your life's more valuable to me than a plant patch. You stop being in charge when the ship you were captaining sunk. I'll stop being in charge when you take charge of yourself. Say, Chief. Chief. What? Do you know how to drain those grow beds of 40 tons of storm water? Or how to conjure food from the air? I know how to prioritize. I'm just saying, if that's so, what's your boy's life worth to you today? If tomorrow you're ah, gonna be so stuff. hungry you start wondering Go we'll grab this one. What's up? I will leave you here. Do you understand me? No rescue coming, Chief. Not in time. And no staying here neither. This rain keeps falling. Sooner or later, this place will be buried. The only choice we got is whether to get buried with it. <laughs> Look at the water texture. I'm not sure they thought you're actually going to climb up here. But the noise from me dislodging the rocks. Yes, it would be a shame if I fell off from over here. Right, let's have a look in here. Perhaps get log number three, maybe? Water? Log number three, what do you know? This is the first time I've seen sunlight in months. After all that time in the deep, I'd been dreaming nice. of it. Now that I'm back here, I'm finding it hard to enjoy alone. My father was right. We should never have left this place. We should interrupt him. They do not want us down there. Despite my best efforts, ill health is taking hold of me. Oh no. Conditions are getting worse. Marguerite and father are now part of the ecosystem of this incredible planet. Also. It's reassuring to know that when I go, I'll join them. Until then, well, there's always the view. Oh, poor sod. Right, uh, do I want to bother taking a lantern through? I don't think we do. We'll keep scanning the plants. See what we find. 
Uh, okay. It doesn't do anything, does it? No. Okay. Uh, let's go and have a look at the other one, although I imagine it's very similar. At least we get a pretty good view of the whole island from here. Also, actually, let's have a look at the graphics. What setting is this? Oh, I think we did set this before. Yeah, okay. It's not amazing. At least we're getting good FPS. Uh, I believe we don't have to cross that bridge. We can just cross here. I'm getting strong Skyrim Pulse vibes from this. This doesn't seem right. Mm -mm. Uh, am I just going back on myself now? I don't think I am. Do, do, do. Yes, don't pull off. Almost there. Here we are. Pretty much identical. We've got a pot. Amazing. You can eat a small marble melon. And we got the desk. This island is a godsend. Look out of the window. No predators. Fresh food. No building materials. Nothing left of the ship. And your kid it's... says we're going to starve without more grow beds. Speak up, kid. It's true, father. The natural growth rates are too slow to keep supporting us. Nope. All I'm saying is, oceans got us surrounded. No use hiding. Sooner or later, we'll get our feet on this way. The rest of your life may have been a fight maider, but I've made my decision. You want to forfeit your emergency pay to take a swim? Go ahead. Believe me, I'm thinking on it. Huh? Stab you, lady. Got a stab. It's in a, it's in a name. Oh. No, don't stab me. I like a PDA. <laughs> Ooh, we found a we found a beacon. Interesting. You see, Chief, you brought us to this sodden planet. Told us we'd see a lush payday. Now what do we got? Some six weeks later, a dead crew. A habitat that's half buried, food washed away. I suppose the executive decisions would be better left to someone with your extensive experience of hitting people in the face. <laughs> I know enough not to take unscheduled detours to uncharted planets. That's something you don't want to learn the hard way. Easy to judge a decision in hindsight. Harder to come up with a plan of your own. Got one already. We take what we can carry and hunker down in a cave somewhere. I scouted a site, a couple hundred meters deep, lots of metal deposits. How do you imagine we'd live? With ready access to building materials, like damn queens, a couple of water filters, a bio oh, that's what it looks like. fresh fish. But Chief, we'll eat seaweed salad and drink our own urine if that's what it takes. All that matters is, do you got something better? Send the coordinates to my PDA. I'll review your proposal. <coughs> So this was the rendezvous point we were supposed to go to. It says dry land. I probably shouldn't be doing this. Oh, yep. Rocks falling off. Yep. Okay, so these are the ancient floaters we saw previously. Makes sense. Oh, hold on. Is that a different coral? Coral shell plate. Okay. Yeah, so clearly we can get onto the island from here. This is the beacon that was telling us to go here in the first place. So a PDA? Yeah. Cool beans. Integrating new PDA data. <laughs> we have definitely not done this stuff in the right order. But that's fine. Aboard the Aurora, repair the long-range comms. 
Make contact with the other survivors. We can't be the only two that made it. Those are not the orders the captain gave me, and they are not the orders I'm giving you. This isn't chain of command. It's survival. My obligations as acting commander don't turn on their convenience. Get out of the water. If I get into trouble, I'll send you my coordinates. I can't let you go alone. Then come with me. You don't leave me much choice. Huh? Received emergency transmission from second officer Keen. Two hours after last activity. Rendezvous was a failure. <laughs> Intercepted wow, wow. a transmission from Altera HQ. Seems they sent a data package to the Aurora. We were intercepted by a Leviathan-class predator before we could reach the ship. Consider the CTO and I lost at sea. Be safe. Keen. Out. These guys aren't having very much luck, are they? Right, well, now I've got an issue. I feel like we found most of what there was to find on this island. And now we've got to actually <laughs> head back. And that means we've got to find the teleporter. Which means I have to avoid getting lost. I mean, we could swim the whole way. That doesn't seem super sensible. But I didn't leave a beacon. That would have been a very good idea. Maybe we just swim back. What do you think? You guys... <laughs> do you guys think we should search some more for the teleporter to get back? Or just swim and see what we find? Because I'm not confident I'm going to find this cave entrance again. Especially if this thing's map doesn't actually work above ground. That would have actually been really handy. That was not the right way. Well, I've made the decision. I'm going to swim. <laughs> We've got a sea glide. We can do it. Let's equip the rebreather. Have a look down here quickly. I mean, we could just die. I don't think I want to die, though, with the cargo that we've got. See, you work down here. How deep can we go before we have issues? Oh. Yeah, that's a, that's a rock face. Okay. No, this is just asking for trouble. We'll, we'll come back later. And our inventory, we've got two spots. So let's save it for something good. Spade, fish. We've got some kind of ruin. Kind of wreckage. We do actually have a spare... Oh, we, yeah, we do have a spare O2 tank as well. So that's probably not a bad idea. Let's actually... We can start cutting this open and then swap to the other one. I'm sure this plan is going to go absolutely great. Okay, data box. Cyclops fire suppression system. Yes, this sounds like something we should have at this point. A sample analyzer, microscope, small sample flask. Amazing. You'll have to see it. Uh, is there anything else? I'm looking at in here that is. Can't get in there though. So I don't think we're supposed to get in there. Okay. That will do. Uh, oh, there's a little ladder hatch. Yeah, there's nothing in here. Okay. Uh, shall we just rock it up? That might be a good idea. Imagine if there's a reaper directly above us. And then we'll refill the uh, O2 tank. 
There we go. And then we'll swap this one out. Refill that one too. Pretty handy. And then let's continue to look around on the seafloor here. Go too crazy. The fish. Okay, that's a very deep hole. I think we want to go in a very deep hole. You definitely don't want to find any reapers. Are you? We're not allowed to scan you. Well, that's sad. This probably isn't a good idea. Yeah, let's not get stuck in any caves. A reef back. Let me go look at the reef back. So you've got any uh, barnacles? Uh, would I even be able to see them? I think I would be able to see them if they were there. Okay, well, funnily enough, I think we're actually pretty close to the base. So we'll just head straight back to the base. I think we'll do the Aurora another day. Because we found a fair few things we can use to make some more advanced equipment now. Uh, I don't really want to drop any of this. So drop the flask. We don't need the flask. Wait, where'd the copper go? Where'd the copper go? You silly sausage. I bet we'll find that mask again someday. Oh, here it is. Free copper. in caves and tiger plants. Probably don't want to mess around in there for now. Yeah, let's just go back to the base. It's uh, between this bit. Wow, lots of reef backs over here. Hello. You're a cutie. Obviously, we're going to go retrieve the sea moth at some point. Yeah, there's a life pod, and then we just need to line it up with the other pod, and then that's back to our base. <laughs> so, I believe the reef backs are fixed, in that they don't respawn. Um, so I feel like eventually you would actually find all of the reef backs, and you would find all of the barnacles to be harvested. Oh, why do we even do this? I'm not paying attention, am I? We don't need all these seeds. Probably wouldn't take it if it weren't for the fact that it was copper. Proposed the gassy habitat. Is that going to be the jelly shroom cave? It's probably going to be the jelly shroom cave. And our base should just be here. Good. Right. Welcome aboard, Captain. Radio. Play partially translated broadcast. I new biological subjects designated. Mode. Hunting. Analyzing. Sharing subject locations with other agents. This is a very normal, uh, 
noise to hear. Not at all concerning. Right, we'll put these in here because we're obviously not doing anything with those yet. Um... So, I think it's worth us making a grow bed. An internal one. Oh, an external one. Yeah, let's just make an external one. Oh, we can't grow the marble melons outside, obviously. The external ones are for growing underwater plants. Big brain moment. So, internal grow bed. <laughs> it's not big enough. What about a plant pot? Can we put a marble melon in a plant pot? Uh, yes. Put a few of them in here. Okay. I mean... Yeah, they're growing now, aren't they? That's fine. I see Nightbot did their job. Right, so we can make the modification station because we've got the stuff. So let's take a titanium and a lead. I'm shoving as much stuff as I possibly can into this random area. So computer needs two more table corals, a gold and a wiring kit, I imagine. Uh, no, copper wire, okay. We do have that. We made a load of it. is good. I am absolutely running out of space though. Maybe I can go in this corner. We will make a bigger base, but we might as well get everything first and then and then sort it out. Right, thermoblade. There we go. Now we can cook and eat fish in the wild. Very important. Uh we have lithium, I believe. So let's Upgrade our air tank. There we go. Uh, so that's this one, which is bigger than this one. We could probably just store this somewhere now. Six. We'll put it in there for now. What else can we do? Ultra glide fins. Okay, so we can make these. We have the rubber. We they're going to give us extra swim speed. That's good. So, let's see. Two rubber. I, uh, we need to unequip our fins. See, it's worth, I feel like it, in this game, it's worth going a little bit outside of your comfort zone. Because the stuff you can find in the deeper regions makes it disproportionately easier to do everything else. I feel like we found this stuff way earlier than we may normally find it. So that's good. Uh, what else do we want? Repulsion cannon we can't make. Okay, good. That's a good start. Yeah, so these deep shrooms are used to make hydrochloric acid. Oh, I know what we can do. We can grow some deep shrooms. So let's go do that. Uh, and what we're going to do <laughs> is we're going to put the grow bed on this underneath underneath the scanner room so it doesn't look quite so silly. I don't know, maybe this looks more silly. What do you think? <laughs> Farming alien plants is a proven survival strategy. Agreed. Craig McGill survived 47 months on a healthy, raw salad of live tree roaches and stag root. Stank fruit. I don't think that's what she said. I wasn't reading. Let's take these in the deep shroom. And we'll start growing them. Also, we put that modification station in the worst possible place. So, who no. knows? Reds. What about the fourth one? One of these does not belong. We found the Derp Shroom. A discolored relative to the acid mushroom adapted to low light conditions. Womp womp. Considerably more acidic than its shallow dwelling cousin, it may have applications in advanced fabrication. Can we process into hydrochloric? 
stuff. Okay. So that means now, uh, save it. We can cut this. Get some seeds. Good. So now we can plant all of these and they give four seeds each. There we go. And now we're going to be able to make hydrochloric acid. What are we going to use this for? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We shouldn't have hydrochloric acid at this stage. Death of... Wow, we just got kissed by a rabbit, re uh, rabbit uh, ray. Very special moment. Right, let's get some more bladder fish. So we have access to hydrochloric acid. We don't have access to a water filtration machine yet. This has uh, been a weird run. These guys respawn. Take the peepers. Yeah, look how much faster we're swimming now. Because the I believe the fins stack with the sea glide. Amazing. Uh right. Water. So we've got another half hour. What should we do in half an hour? I mean, it'd be nice if we actually had a bed, because then we could multiply these deep shrooms a bit more. But obviously we can't fit a bed in here. We can actually build a large room. We should probably do that at some point. We can make a purple tablet. We obviously don't want to do that. Let's see. So... We can make the large room. We need plasteel ingots. And then we can get a glass dome. I think what we do is we make the large room. And maybe we just keep this here. Maybe we actually just remove this connector. Yes, very sensible game. Good job. Okay, so we need plasteel ingots. So how do we make those? I think we have all the ingredients to make those. Yeah, we just need titanium ingots and lithium. Okay, I'm going to put you back just for now. So we need 4 lithium and 20 titanium. We already made one of them earlier. So I believe that's actually enough. And we actually have enough lithium as well. But we need to... Oh, I need to eat these first. There we go. Uh, make me titanium ingots. Uh, oh right, lithium. One, two, three, four. I think this is going pretty well. We're not speedrunning, but we're certainly getting some interesting things going. So, how big is this room going to be? Probably much bigger than this. Uh, yeah, just a, just a bit. <laughs> uh, let's see. We can probably just remove these for now. Okay. Uh, what about this? Where would I actually stick this? Ugh. I'm very tempted to just stick it in the shallows for now. Yeah. Seems good. There we go. That's a pretty good upgrade, isn't it? <laughs> and then maybe we just start moving all this stuff uh, from over here. Okay. These grew quicker than I thought they would grow. I think we leave this here as a memorial. Memorial to the first stream. We leave the grow bed, because it's funny. Although your hull strength is gonna run out any second, so let's not make any more modifications. Welcome aboard, Captain. Hi, 
already automated message from Aurora Live mm -hmm. pod 13 coordinates attached. Live pod is carrying high priority passenger. Yoki Kasa. I said Kasa. Why do I have to record this anyway? It's both well. Immediate burial detail. <laughs> Send immediate burial detail. <laughs> Wow. The game has so much faith in this guy. We could plant these mushrooms as well. There's probably not any point. Uh, we definitely need to make some reinforcements, though. So we need lithium and three titanium. So we actually probably need to go grab some more titanium, which is fine, because I'm sure there's loads of it down here. And we are very, very fast now. So we are just looking for fragments and metal salvage. Oh, let's not run headfirst into the jellyfish. That will actually kill us. Yeah, metal salvage. Probably more stuff over here. We could set the scanner room to metal salvage. That would have been too easy. Maybe we do it after all. Yep, there we go. Oh. Get out of here. Yes, you're a stalker. Yes, very good. Probably more down here. No. No fragment. A lot of fish. Yeah, water usually seems to be the constraint on all this stuff. Should definitely uh, get some better water to ground. Okay, where are we going? See, this looks much bigger and more impressive now. A fair amount of power stored up. That's good. So now we can make two reinforcement panels, which we will, of course, put down here on this thing that we're not actually using for anything. And that way we can save the, uh, oh, right. No, that's not how that works, is it? <laughs> yeah. Although, let's see, it's the radio and fabricator and the medical thing. I think we could probably move these. Let's see, so... Radio... So the locker isn't blocking it off. So we can probably stick the radio over here. Mm -hmm. And then we can remove the poster. Well, we can put everything back once we're done. Actually, let's just do that. So the reinforcement goes here. Okay, and then we can put another one on the other side, but we can move everything over first. Can we? Let's see. Yeah, look, see, we can just put the radio on here with all of this. I might just stick the radio here anyways, though. I think it looks better. Okay, and then we can... We can Deconstruct the fabricator. And put that... Where is this? Here. Yeah, just stick that in the middle. Like that. It's not in the middle, is it? <laughs> That's really gonna annoy me. <laughs> Oh, God. Uh, 
No, that's not even close. There definitely needs to be a way for us to pixel to hunt in this game. Right, that's good enough, I think. It's a little bit low down. But that's fine. Uh, what's here? Stasis rifle. We can't make that because we don't have magnetite yet. Lots of stuff we need magnetite for. Okay. And then we just remove this. Oh, wait. Hold on. We may as well take the medical kit first. Uh, you can just go here. That is fine. How are you? How are you guys doing? Hooray! Un marble melon. Uh, we definitely need to cut the last one to make seeds. Yeah, that gave us four seeds. Okay, let's get that out of the way a little bit. Uh, I guess we're not going to need that much water. Let's make a smaller one. <laughs> Just put everything at the front so we can't get in the room. I think to be honest, we just keep it here. We just move it a bit. Just move it a bit further in. Yeah. Okay. So we have the marble melons. We have the knife. Uh, let's make one more reinforcement. And that goes here. stuff. So there are plenty of hull capacity. Let's get a quartz. Let's get all the quartz. And go up here. And then we've got a hatch here so we can actually go in this way. And then we've got the scanner room. You can search for a wreck. It's pretty funny. Go look at that. And then... We can go in here and look! Look at all this space! And run around! Look how much room we got. And then we can start actually planning all of this stuff. But I'm gonna probably... I'm probably gonna leave that until another time. You know, we can build partition doors. Alien containment. We want to build this. We want to contain all the aliens. But, uh... We've got lots of room for putting things in now. We will use that at some point. How are you growing? I don't think we care about the... I don't think we actually care about these acid mushrooms. I'll take these ones and put them in storage. Hello, Jack. Hope you're doing well. We're doing pretty well. We uh, found a load of above-ground islands. We've actually been playing Land Nautica today. And, yeah, let's take those. We could just make a load of batteries. That'd probably be a good idea, wouldn't it? Uh, poster. Where am I going to put this? <laughs> We're going to expand into the upper bit later on. But now we're just going to do stuff over here. Oh! It's kind of sus. There we go. No. Ah, oh, I see the game. The game says we could place it, but it won't actually let us place it. It'll let us place it here. No. <laughs> the game lies. Yeah, here's our cool poster. No, it's not letting us place it. Oh, right. We place it with the right mouse button. That's a very funny game. <laughs> it's so it's so silly. 
a spot where it actually fits. There we go. Look at that. Feng Shui. <laughs> I believe if underwater is subnautica, then above water would be supernautica. I mean, technically, yes, but land nautica sounds much more catchy. Uh, so, yeah, we found plants. We found grow beds. So, we're now growing marble melons. And we found an external grow bed, which we're currently using to grow deep shrooms because we found a time capsule with a deep shroom in it last last uh, stream they really only make one inventory space oh yeah we we're gonna go make batteries okay so we're just doing some base tidying for now we're actually fairly close to wrapping up but the uh hello there but the the vod will be on youtube so you can watch it there if you want hello gray area hope you're doing well what have you been up to today we're playing some more i'm not sure why this fish is spinning around for so long it's fine but at least now we have a good amount of batteries so let's see uh swap that out for a fresh one swap that out for a fresh one swap that out for a fresh one uh any more this one this one uh those ones are fine to be honest oh that was it Okay, uh, let's charge these batteries back up. Now I've got some spare batteries. Love this game so very much. Uh, yeah, it's going well. We tried to go to the Aurora, but we did not uh, find the entrance. <laughs> but we did find uh, the the ship that shot down the Sunbeam. And we found a load of grow bed related stuff. So we're doing that at the moment. Yes, it's been productive actually. I'm trying to compare this to my old run that we did back in 2022. I'm not sure we're strictly going faster than we were in that run, but there have been some interesting happenings, so all is not lost. There's a way to save the sunbeam. So the funny thing is, the sunbeam got shot down when it was nighttime, and the planets got in the way, so it looked like the ship was going to crash into the moons. I feel like it was going to probably burn up even if the laser didn't shoot it, if we were being realistic. Right, and now we have the fourth battery. So now that can go in here. And now we're always going to have a stock of charged batteries on, on file. Now, did we find two rubies? No, we found one ruby, so we can't make the power cell charger. You, you've done it once, though? Okay, all right, do tell. How do you save the sunbeam? I don't think there's anything else we actually want to make for now. I believe we are just trying to multiply... We're just trying to multiply deep shrooms at the moment. So... Yes. This knife is going to be very useful as well. So, oop. Oh, hold on. I like this little cubby hole. It's perfectly uh, sized for growing these things. There we go. You'll have to look it up again? Oh, okay. <laughs> you can tell me on Discord, maybe. Right, something light to finish it off. Let's see if there's a wreck that we haven't actually looked at yet. With the scanner room. Now we've got all this advanced equipment. And when we come back to this, we'll do the Aurora and whatnot. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and do one Subnautica stream per week. I have a... Oh, hello. <laughs> Who are you? What are you? What are you? I'll tell you what, when I first played this game and that happened, I, I got jump scared so hard when that happened. I didn't know what was happening. I know, they, I know they set up deliberately to try and not jump scare you, because it fades in gradually, but I was just very confused and I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> so you don't get jump scared by the stuff that should jump scare me, like the Reapers and the Stalkers, but just random stuff. Grav counters? Uh, grav traps? Okay. I don't think we need grav traps. Stage. It's a shame, because they're very fun. Uh, anything else interesting? Doesn't look like too much. 
Oh, a beacon. Ah, the beacon! Do we actually have beacons now? We need another fragment. Listen here. You've got to give me the other beacon fragment right now. I'm not messing around. We, uh... We've been wanting these for ages. Hello. You're, you're not looking very well. <laughs> Get kited. Ah, here it is. Yeah, boy. Okay. We have to make one. We have to make one and go back to our base. I'm tired of getting lost. In fact, where even is our base? It's between Life Pod 17 and the Life Pod. The short answer is it's possible to deactivate the gun prior to somebody's arrival by doing the same steps in exactly the same way, just very, very quickly. Oh, is it like a speedrun thing? Yeah, there's the base. So we can actually put a beacon at the base and then not worry about it anymore. Hooray. And then we need to pray that a stalker doesn't come and abscond with it. In fact, actually, how do we make a beacon? We make polyalanine. It's fun. Copper, ore, and titanium, really. It's that easy. You'll do another run of this game sometime? I would like to see that. I love watching some more, okay. Did we use all the copper? Uh, no, we didn't. That's good. I need to put something on the other wall. Un beacon, please. We did it with seconds to spare. Nice. Alrighty. Let's go. You like hardcore? Man, I tried playing hardcore. I don't have enough confidence in this game to not just glitch and be annoying to do that. All right, we stick we stick the beacon in the tube. There you go. So now you are... Uh, let's see. Uh, base? No. Buttery, biscuit, base. There we go. Hooray! <laughs> hey Tech Rock, how you doing? What is up with you? I just had a stream of uh, emotes for some reason. I think one of my alerts is broken. Hope you're doing well. Uh, right, let's adjust this. Yes, why did that just happen, game? Or, or Twitch, OBS, maybe? Tell me. I feel like someone just subscribed. If they did, they did it in secret. But that's fine. Thank you very much. Mucho appreciado. What am I even doing? Right, we were going to adjust the beacon settings. So... Beacons... Right, so this one I don't really care about too much anymore. Let's make it blue. The base can be... The base could be red. Should be good. Okay. There's more wrecks. I think... We'll go look at one more wreck, maybe? Oh wow, there's a lot of wrecks. Yeah, let's keep looking. I don't remember this being a functionality of the game to be able to scan a room Rex. It's quite... Look at all these stalkers. Oh, they're, they're all swarming over the friggin' um, camera drones we left lying around. Yes, imagine if we could actually deconstruct those. I believe we've already looked at this one. It was you! Aha! Thank you very much for your subscription. You now have access to the fishy and froggy emotes um, and all the official whiskers emotes. So congratulations. Yes, it means a lot. You are you are absolutely a founder. You have your special founder badge. Very much appreciate your company. And 
I am often in your streams, but I'm just like hanging around and lurking. To be honest, I'm usually watching Oxygen Not Included streams when I'm at work, and work has been very busy lately. So, not really much time to actually interact about anything. Yeah, you know I lurk. Uh, right. I think we already looked at this one. Let's keep looking. Let's keep looking. Some deep wrecks down there. Interesting. Not sure we can actually get down there. Alright, game, reveal what this is. I feel like we've already been here. Yeah, this is what we just looked at. Okay. Am I just going to keep going back and forth between the same wreck? This one has to be somewhere different. Yeah, there's no way we can actually check these off, which is kind of annoying. More salvage. I'll take salvage. We are doing a lot of base building in general. Uh, sure. What's this one? You finally got your polluted oxygen set up uh, done. You'll, um, you'll start up tomorrow. Don't know if it'll work the way I wanted to. We could backfire some millions of gems in the base. Yeah, well, that, that sounds like a good idea. You should you should totally do that. Oh, Mr. Rabbit Ray. I do like the Rabbit Rays. Oop. That's a vent. Thermal power, perhaps. Open door that we can't get in. There's an entrance. Not around here. Right here. Ooh, we can open this one. Interesting. Oh, pea water. Pea water is the oxygen. Fair enough. We found... Ah! Another one. A, a blog about the guy. Okay. Let's go up to surface for now. Yeah, we've had fun um, using sublimation stations on our current run on the Metallic Swampy Asteroid. They've done pretty well over there. The main constraint was just actually getting filtration medium. We had to crush a lot of rock for sand and harvest regolith for meteors. Okay, uh, more grab stuff. Let's see. Any fragments that we want? A box. A first aid kit. Amazing. Oh, damaged wiring. Use repair tool. We have a repair tool. Let's see if this actually does something. You enjoy doing something other than a boring old spawn? Yes, exactly. Very interesting. Ooh, haven't done that in a while. A beacon fragment, a sea glide fragment, uh, a, another fragment. Okay, this didn't seem very interesting. It's fine, at least we know it's there. Yes, yeah, sand is my worry. It's worth making ceramic from the clay to make more sand. So that's the funny thing. I brought it up in stream the other day that it's literally sand. It's literally like, um, Filtration medium positive, but you're just burning coal to do it. But if you have hatches, it makes sense. Uh, well, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna fetch a sea moth and bring it back to the base, and then we'll wrap it up. Um, I think it makes sense, frankly. I mean, obviously ceramic is useful for other things, but as I said, you're you're literally generating more material than it takes up, provided that you're getting coal. But with the hatches, you're getting the coal from feeding them something else, so realistically, you probably are going to run out of material eventually doing that. And also, the amount of extra sand that you get isn't super high. I don't know, try it. That sounds funny. Down here. My favorite guy. I like that it's actually worthwhile to uh, find these guys because the barnacles are so good, but I'm pretty sure we're slowly harvesting them all. Radiation? We have the helmets. Your tricks do not work on me, game. Also, stop teasing me about not finding the friggin' Aurora yet. Well, I mean, I mean finding the entrance to the Aurora. We'll do that uh, tomorrow. 
Well, not tomorrow, next stream. In fact, it's actually getting pretty late, so I should wrap it up now. But we did elect to swim all the way across the map instead of using the teleporter. So this is what I get. Also, if you have a big ceramic production, I can recover some of the power with a steam turbine, maybe. Uh, maybe. I guess kilns generate a bit of power. It's what, 20 kilowatts each-ish? Or KDTUs each? You'd have to have a lot of kilns in there, and you're, the constraint is probably going to be filling all of those kilns before generating any meaningful power. But yeah, there's an island over here with the, the big gun. I didn't think there was anything left to do over here. I was considering making my big alien containment base in the moon pool in this alien building. I think that'd be quite appropriate. I'll have a think. Also, you're probably going to run out of power soon. We left the lights on. Welcome aboard, Captain. Yay! Beacon. Buttery biscuit base. I think this is still I think this is still faster than us using the uh sea glide with our ultra glide fins. I do like how in this game as well as there's, there's multiple different options for your equipment. You have choices to make. Like there's the the ones that charge your battery while you're swimming. I think I would just prefer the speed generally, but it's nice that there are options. You could trade them out in different circumstances, I guess. Yeah, more creep vine. Fair enough. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with how this has gone today. Plan to play this game someday? It's so good. Um, I don't think I've spoiled too much while you've been here. Um, there is a lot to explore and to figure out. And it's a lot of fun, so I don't want to spoil it too much. I think you'd explore the exploration more than the building. Yes, the exploration is generally more fun, but you can get a vehicle that supersedes a lot of the need for building a base eventually. So you can't, you don't, you're not obligated to build a big base. You can get by with just random tubes across the map. But I wanted to build a base using the new large room because they added it from, uh, they added it from below zero. So, uh, yeah, I think that's where we're going to wrap it up today. Seamoth, can we rename you? No, we can rename you when we actually get the moon pool. Right, let's save it here. I'm pretty happy with how this has gone. So, uh, yes, let us, let us close it out. But, uh, yes, thank you for coming by. Uh, it's been nice. I do enjoy mixing it up. Uh, Wednesdays is a variety game day at the moment. Uh, I'm going to mix it up between Mega Aquarium and some Nautica, but I think we're probably going to try and get the Nautica playthrough done. We can do the Mega Aquarium DLC missions whenever we want. They're, they're waiting for us to do. Um, I'm quite enjoying getting back into this. These games are really fun. They're really immersive. Um, fairly relaxed, but they're also plenty of stuff to do. I enjoy a lot. <laughs> And yes, if you like what you've seen, feel free to follow on Twitch. If you're not already, you'll get a notification when I go live. Uh, we do play uh, Oxygen Not Included most of the time, Mondays, Tuesdays. We always stream around 7.30 to 10.30-ish British time, depending on how late I am <laughs> having dinner or whatever. Um, random Bellatro stream might happen. We'll see, we'll see how I feel. And the YouTube video about Saltwater and Brian Guys is, is going to come out this week. That's my next priority. Also, quick update, just in case you weren't aware. Uh, Frozen Foresters is now being renamed. I'm renaming the series to Far Flung Friends because I don't think Frozen Foresters is a very good long-term name because we're done with that planet. Like, we might build some more stuff there in future, but realistically, we're going to be focusing on the space stuff. That was the goal of the run in the first place anyways. So... Yeah, we're gonna... It's called Far From Friends now, and we are updating all the thumbnails. <laughs> That's fine. Look, baby, baby Hillstream Loach. They're getting big now. They're growing pretty quickly. And none of the other fish uh, seem to bother them or anything. 
So I'm pretty confident they're going to grow to adults. I'm very happy about that. Very rare to breed them, apparently. Uh, yes, Discord is here. And I'm going to go find someone to raid. And I'm going to head off because I need my sleep. But I think that was everything I wanted to cover. Let's see, who is on? Who is on and who is playing what? Yeah, I'm glad you enjoyed the stream, little Psycho Panda. Yeah, Subnautic is great. Um, I'm going to go raid Matthew Canny again. He's playing Oxygen not included. You guys all like that. Make sure to give Matthew Canny plenty of advice and tips. <laughs> Make sure to criticize his base. Make sure to redeem all the redemptions and bombard him with notifications and whatnot. Yes, yeah, good friend of the channel. I'll see you guys when I see you. Possibly tomorrow. Who knows? I'll post on the Discord. But yeah, take care. Enjoy the rest of your week, everyone. Bye for now.